Today has been a stressful day, so thankfully my oldest son brought me some plants, so I got a little dirt therapy. That's a squash. That's a wild holly tree that I found and it's just there. More squash. Random. This is my plant that my friend Rebecca gave me for my birthday. It's doing good in this bigger pot. Tomatoes. I had really good luck with tomatoes last year in container. So these are banana peppers. So I'm going to go water them. Right here I had my tomatoes last year. And I planted some wild uh, swamp sunflowers in here. And they grew, but they never grew, grew. Because of the winter, but they're still there. So maybe they'll bloom later. I'm going to take these two out. Buster Brown and Smoochie Dog. Come on, let's go. Let's go. All that dirt on me from my plants that I was planting, to, or the dirt that I was using to plant plants. So today has been especially, come on dogs, especially challenging. Actually the last week or so has been especially challenging for reasons that I cannot say. Uh, but you find that when you work, or play or you're in organizations or clubs with other people they're gonna have different opinions about things there's sometimes you find yourself caught in the middle of it you don't want to be but you are and of course you have your own opinion about stuff and it doesn't always concur with someone else and even though you can make perfectly good sense, they just don't want to hear you because they consider themselves right. And there's going to be people like that all your life, no matter where you go, no matter how old you get. And you may become one of them yourself in your older age. Me, I just like to be in my corner doing my thing and leave me alone. But sometimes you can't. it doesn't always work out. And it is what it is. So I've had this steady headache for three days now. Yeah, some of it's related to the sinus e nastiness out here. Like blowing, wind blowing dust particles and whatever. Polony stuff, but most of it is related to being in the middle without asking to be you just are and then you have your own opinions but sometimes you have to keep them to yourself or if you do state them in a bland manner you get argued with or shut down instead of you know Kind of like what you think is unimportant, I guess. Is if it doesn't comply with someone else's view or opinion, it makes things a little difficult. But we'll see how it goes. Because that's life. I trust God. God will... What God wants to happen is going to happen. Yay or nay. Now... Sometimes we can slow up what God wants to happen. And sometimes we can try to rush what God wants to happen. And God has his own time in these things. If I know that more than anybody else, probably, and that I know. Except maybe one or two other people. Because if you try to rush things because you think that's what it should be. And you think that's what God w would do or would want. But if you do it your way, it's not always the right way. His ego gets involved and my ego got involved in my life too many times without me even realizing that was my ego i could make a giant list that would be a book long that's why i just try to like just do me but sometimes you just can't just do you 
But then again, you can. So I don't know. It's a conundrum and a dilemma that I guess I'll just have to pray about. And then y'all have a wonderful evening. Yes, it's hot. No makeup for all y'all that think that um, my makeup is a sin and my hair dye. It's getting hot and I don't walk around outside and sweat with makeup on, if at all possible, because it irritates my eyes and skin and it's just gross.